Hello my loves, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jessica Alexandria. If we're meeting for the first time, thank you so much for choosing to click on this video, for choosing to listen to your spirit, and also allowing yourself to receive this message that I downloaded roughly around 10 a.m. in the morning. This should be quitty, pretty quick and to the point, but I still wanna take my time with it, like I always do because I wanna make sure that I'm not missing anything. I heard so clearly and I gained a lot of clarity. Like the clarity was around slowing down, slowing down, slow down, you're going to miss it. Slow down, you're going to miss it. There's a few things that were layered when I sat with each of those words, slow down, you are going to miss it. I wanna start off with it. Well, no, actually. I wanna start off with the fact that this is a direct response to a prayer, to an intention, to a conversation that is that you had with the divine, with God, with your higher self, where you received some type of signal or some type of sign that things are going to start, things are going to begin. I don't know why, Spirit is saying, things are starting to begin to move forward. I also heard the way, I also heard not in a reckless way. It's not going to be reckless. It's going to be thorough. It's going to be precise. And there's this message about following through with something. Something is going to be follow, something is going, the, the follow through is going to give you a lot of clarity. There's no, there's no detail that's going to be missed in this venture or this thing that is going to begin. So if this is a, a person that you, are attracting in your life, no detail or characteristic about this person is not going to be a good fit for you. So that's gonna be a very specific message for someone. Um, and this is one of those reasons too why you need to slow down, why you need to slow down, but I'll talk about that in, in just a second. Um, if this is something that, like an idea or a venture or something that you are about to begin or something that is about to begin within your life, there's no detail that is going to be missed in making this all of a blessing and no no curse meaning like you know when you invite something into your life and it actually comes with some baggage so even though it's something else that you wanted it presents a lot of challenges that you have to go through and you have to grow through this doesn't feel like one of those things this feels like uh, something that you are capable of dealing with uh, that you are open towards and it's going to bring more blessings. Even the quote unquote challenges feel like something that is worth it. And I just heard something that is worth it to continue. So there's no no point when this has begun or how this has begun. There's no point where you're gonna have to pivot in any major way. You can continue on. How it shows up is how it will continue. So there's a blessing here of longevity. And as I'm hearing the word longevity, spirit wants to reaffirm and reassure you that you are capable of this of this this thing that's going to enter into your life or this responsibility or this thing it's going to feel epic it's going to feel like a major blessing um also with that as i'm talking it out loud i'm starting to feel that some of you guys have worked really hard along your own healing journey so you are prepared mentally emotionally spiritually prepared for any other trials challenges and tribulations that would need to show up for you um, and Spirit is saying, you actually don't need to prepare for that. That you have done everything to prepare for this. You are ready. Things are solid. You are solid. And you are in perfect supreme location to receive this, this thing or this person or this energy or whatever the case is. This is right. If this is something that has already begun and has already started to make its way some of you guys feel like if you've already seen this it kind of feels like something is marching into your life and as they march it feels like they're crushing certain things um spirit says that they want you to focus more on the fragrance that comes from this thing crushing in your life this is going to help you to see to soon to be able to see sooner the blessing from this thing that has already begun to enter into your life or has already entered into your life some of you guys might be kind of like i don't know why i'm seeing someone kind of like scatter around and try to pick up the pieces or you know um there's this quote actually that that i've heard before where love or forgiveness i don't remember which one it is but love or forgiveness is the scent 
that is released when the rose is crushed. And there's something about this chapter in your life that has already begun. There's this emphasis on like it already beginning. There's something about this chapter in your life that says that you are the only person that is capable to receive this type of love. So I, I, I really actually feel like it's love because it keeps going back to that. You're the only person who is capable of receiving this type of love or giving this type of love but you may have closed out that part of yourself or closed out that chapter in your life. You might have believed that you, your time has passed and there's no way that this could have happened for you. You might have felt, you might have already accepted the fact that this thing has, this chapter has closed in your life and it was never gonna happen. So you have found this perfect uh, planet, you know, this perfect space that you are living in where you're like, this is it and this works for me and this makes me happy. So when something comes in and enters in, it feels like them moving around in your world is kind of trampling over what you have built. You feel like you're being sabotaged. You actually, I heard the word, you feel like the universe is sabotaging you or God is sabotaging you or something is sabotaging you here. And that is simply not the case. And you're, you are, if you're able to focus more on the fragrance that comes from these things being trampled in your life meaning like maybe looking at the positive in this or look at what you can gain from this or look at the blessing in this you are going to see the whole blessing in this instead of what you've had to release and that's a very specific message for someone now when i hear the word it slow down you are going to miss it there's an emphasis on it so you need to slow down, right? So this means some, something about someone is looking for something. They either had a conversation with the divine, spoke to spirit, spoke to their higher self, and received a signal, received confirmation that this is now what is in order. This is now what is happening. So you start looking. You start consciously, you start looking, or subconsciously, you start looking for it. And you're, you're scanning, you're scanning, you're scanning. It's almost like your, your brain is excited or your eyes are excited or your energy is excited and you should be. However, slowing down is going to allow you to really be able to take a step back and have a perspective shift because it's almost as if something has begun and you've revved that engine or you've revved that gas and you're ready to move forward with the quickness, honey. When I tell you, I feel the quickness. I feel so much speed in this energy, like even as Spirit was telling me now, uh, when I originally downloaded this message and I'm sitting with it now and I can feel it still, it hasn't escaped me. Like the details of this haven't ex escaped me. If anything, the more I'm talking about it, the more details are starting to unfold. But I feel so much speed and quickness in this energy, in your energy that's like, yo, I received confirmation or I know exactly what it is that I want. I have clarity. Girl, you don't even know how long I've been waiting for this clarity and all of a sudden I have it now and you're gonna ask me to stop and slow down. That's what we're not gonna do. Like, I get it, I'm with you. Like, I'm literally like, if this is one of those scooters, I'm, I'm your side bitch. Pardon my French, I'm your side bitch and I'm sitting in the side scooter. I got my helmet on, my sunglasses, where we going, take us there, I'm ready. I've been freaking praying and setting intention and working my magic for you, have I not? So it's like, I'm ready to go too. So it's interesting that now we're looking at each other and we're like, yo, wait, what? Like, now Spirit is asking us to slow down. You're going to miss it. And it's true though. It's true. I feel so strong in my spirit that the slow down is not to say that you are going too fast or things are going to topple over or things, but there is a perspective shift that needs to happen. And there is a perspective shift that is currently occurring right now, that is happening right now. And if you're not careful, you are going to get bits and pieces of this blessing, bits and pieces of this gift, bits and pieces of this manifestation, instead of the whole entirety of it. And that's what it came through. When I heard the word it, slow down, you are going to miss it. The word it was so emphasized so heavily and, it's, and Spirit was saying that it is not exactly what it is that you are expecting. It is not exactly what it is that you've been fully expecting. You know that there is something that's going to occur. You know that there's a blessing. You know that this thing is manifesting. You know that it is a gift. But if you're not careful, you won't be able to see and be bestowed upon you. Like it will not be fully given to you. You would not fully receive it if you are not open to the abundance, the gratitude, the, the amount of gratitude that can come from you, that can spill into your spirit if you're not open to receiving how ample this blessing and gift can be for you. 
it's true that you set intention for it for it it's true that you talk to spirit it's true that you manifest it it's true all of these things are manifesting right now that they're materializing it has already begun clearly but if you're not careful you won't be able to see all the additional things that come into this chapter in your life it's not just one it's almost like it opens all the doors all of the doors you you're expecting one door to open but this opens like all the other doors and if you're not careful you won't even know to look for that door because your eyes are so focused on this one door you won't even be able to be aware that a window opened up over here and that's for you to gain too so i want to say one last message that spirit the divine the universe doesn't stay in the realms of lack it doesn't stay in the realms of superficiality is what I just heard. It loves to go deep. It loves to go deep and it loves to go deep and be abundant in the gifts that it is that, it, that it, it'll bring to your life. <clears throat> it goes further and farther and deeper and wider than you could ever imagine. And that's where that it comes through because it says that yes, you may have spoken this gift into your life you may have known and had the signals and the signs and that's why you're rushing towards it but if you're not careful and if you're not still allowing yourself to be guided and led and slowing down to savor this and be as open as you can to this you are going to miss all the many layers the multi layers of additional blessings and gifts and manifestations that come with the fact that you were you felt called to ask for it to begin with yes you think in your mind that this is the greatest thing that you could ask. You may even think that it's impossible, but spirit senses and knows that it is not impossible. It is very possible that the time that you felt called to ask for it was divine timing. So of course that was going to unfold, but because spirit goes so wide and so deep and so long that, and has so many different layers to it, that this very blessing is not just what it is that you expect it to be. It extends further beyond that. So slow down, you're going to miss it, slow down you're going to miss it slow down you're going to miss it means that yes this thing is occurring yes it has begun but it will the blessing it the manifestation it the intention that you set it expands way beyond even your brain could fathom right now and i feel that and i'm excited i'm excited i'm excited for you i am excited for you i'm excited <laughs> also you are ready, honey. If you felt for one moment that you're like, listen, what did I just, I'm excited and I will take, I will take it on the chin if this is not going to be, if this is going to require something of me, like, but spirit says you, you're expecting, which makes sense. You're expecting, but that just shows how prepared you are. That shows how ready you are. And it also shows that you could, oh, you're the only person to, to take this on right now at this moment in your life. You're the only person because you are the only one who's saying, listen, I do want this blessing. I do want this gift. I do want this to manifest. And I, if there's anything else that it is that I have to do to take care of this, I will do it. You let me know. I'm ready. I am ready. But spirit is saying, listen, I, that's how, that's one of the reasons that show you that you are more than capable and you are the perfect fit for this. And this thing is going to be the perfect fit for you. And there's nothing that you would have to change about yourself or challenge you in a way that you haven't already done and that you already have haven't lived through but also we appreciate your dedication your determination and your willingness to make this the best thing that it could possibly be but there is nothing more that you have to do to receive that so wow guys wow um tremendous tremendous intentions tremendous manifestations tremendous blessings are coming into your life are you open and ready to receive it you are you are <laughs> all right thank you so much for hanging out with me once again you guys i'm gonna go take care of my crazy chickens because they are living their best life right now but i've also promised them a snacky and i'm gonna give that to them um but i hope that you are well uh please if this video resonated with you please give it a thumbs up those types of feelings of uh, gratitude and recognition they go a long way not only for my youtube channel but also for your ability to receive your own gifts and your own blessings because you're acting you're adding to it. You're, you're showing gratitude for confirmation from spirit in all the ways that it does come through. So if you give this video th some thumbs up, not only does it mean a lot to me, but it'll help you in your own manifestations, believe it or not. And if you need me, of course, you can find me in the apothecarybahadilife.com or queenbeehomesteadco.com where I'm working my magic. I just said recently that it's a combination of like Mercury and Venus. Mercury is the mind and communication and the power, the magician, and then Venus 
so that's body life and then venus is queen bee homestead co um the whipped body butters the dry oils the nourishment you guys ask me all the time girl what's your skincare the same thing i've been using since i was a teenager is the same thing as that i'm using now i'm 35 but i look like i'm 18. yes aging in reverse and it's 100 percent because of how i take care of my skin my rituals my routines um all of those things are factored in uh to you know just beauty and blessings and attraction and all those things it's all of all of the above all of the above okay so if you want that you need that it's there for you also queenbeehomesteadco.com is going to start opening up for international orders not for body butters though not for body butters because body butters are emphasis on the word butter man when you put it on your skin it immediately melts because it's like a butter the consistency is so like rich and luxurious but it's light it's light and as soon as there is any minor temperature change um it will start to change in consistency and that's not something that i want for my clients no ma'am no 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 no. you could essentially maybe when it arrives to you because i know a lot of you guys are in france dubai england canada i get it like thank you thank you so much for your support and love by the way you could essentially um put the body butter in the fridge and then whip it up again but I've considered that but I just don't want to ask that of you guys so just let me know if that's something that you would even be open to but I just don't and there's man shipping internationally is hard enough as it is much less adding like cooling temperatures and stuff like that but I am actively working on it because I want to be able to deliver actual healthy body ingredient ingredients our skin is the largest organ on our body and it is constantly absorbing and we need to protect it we need to protect it because our skin is the barrier I'm like going off right now on a tangent but our skin is the barrier between toxins in the world everything we're absorbing everything in our skin so we need to make sure that there is a barrier there that's protecting us from not overly absorbing and we also need to make sure that we what we are putting on our skin as it is absorbing it it's not toxic chemicals because that is very real and when i tell you there's a lot of things on the market right now that say that things are all natural they're not all natural they're not all natural it's not that's a lie same thing that's happening in our food I'm going off, but I've always been very passionate about this. I've always been very picky about it. I'm triple Virgo. So, yeah. Oh my God, the chicken figured out the hose. All right, guys, I gotta go. I love you. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.